writer's question. Actually, let me go to this one. <laughs> Rider serious. I. Escape out the shed. I can't be killed here. It's two meters to the door. I can get there in one step if I jump with all my strength. The problem is that Ryder can close the distance long before I get outside. Ryder emits hostility that can be taken as anger or dejection. It might be because the shed's dark, but she looks like a giant snake. Mm, yeah, I wonder why. <clears throat> I concentrate only on the signs for a <laughs> Yeah. And I avoid the dagger that swung at me before I jump back. Take that. I jump out into the yard. The rush of dodging a superior opponent's attack and the joy of escaping makes my heart beat faster. Well, uh, maybe continue. Yeah, and that's enough pleasure for now. Yeah, continue on trying to, sur to survive. The fight just began. I now have to beat Ryder somehow. Oh, my. I don't feel anyone coming after me out of the shed. Are you already dead? <laughs> Ryder slowly appears from within. Oh. Oh, that's, that's good, I, I guess. She disappears into the night. Ryder's presence disappears. Maybe she's left the grounds. I don't feel her uh, her hostility anymore, and I don't think she's coming back. Ryder. Hmm. <laughs> Did she let me go? If my suspicion is correct, she might help us if the opportunity arises. Maybe. The clock strikes midnight. It's 12 o'clock, the promised time. I wrap the Azoth sword with cloth and tuck under my arm. This is my only weapon. The only other thing I'm taking is the pendant. Oh, thank you, Ilya. Ilya's going to stay here. It's partly because Zokin is after her, but I'm also having her stay here because she's my hope. Uh, she always scolds us, it's nothing new. Oh boy. So someone actually spoiled what this one is for me. A bit. So I I have an idea of what's coming. Sadly. I nod and get up. There's no pain in my left arm now. It's just that my human functionality is eroding. That's not good. I can't tell what I'm doing if I stand still. That's probably not gonna happen. I wave goodbye to her and leave. Here we go. The air is rumbling. Pressure that crushes the spirit of anyone who comes here. Wind must be blowing from uh, far above me. If I strain my ears, I can hear it howling. I know this atmosphere. It's the reenactment of the event ten years ago. 
The air is thick with curses. Even people who are not magi should feel the ominous air of this place. Not quite. Oh boy, the forest is dark. We climb the mountain using the moonlight, uh, moonlight that filters through the clouds. We push our way through the tree branches. There's not even an animal trail in this place, so we even have to climb down rock walls. いや、<笑> Mm hmm Oh, I can. <laughs> we must be behind the temple, because I see many dead trees. There's no sign of human influence. There's nothing here but dead trees and a small stream. Ogawa? Hold on. That means the water's coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Stop. Wait a minute. i Following the sound of water, I figure out which direction to, uh, to search. The stream isn't coming from the mountaintop, but from a rocky outcropping. I can't see all that well in the darkness, but the rocks are large. The formation looks like a natural gate, and the water is coming from behind them. <laughs> We pick our way down to the stream. It's more like a spring flowing out from the rocks. The stones are piled atop one another where it starts. There's a crack big enough for one person to fit through. It's like a snow hut made from rocks. You can see that a huge boulder is blocking the entrance, so nobody would even try to go in it. Yep. I try placing my hand on the rock. I don't feel the rock, and my hand goes through the space instead. Tosika goes into the darkness without turning back. Hmm. Once we go into the enemy's lair, there's no backing out. I take a deep breath and follow after her. sound of scraping on a hard surface. Yeah, so far, minus Ryder, this is pretty much the same as, uh, the actual... Like, to get to the actual ending bit. Progress down the wet rocks. I progress- alright, I progress down the wet rocks using my hands. The ground slopes steeply downward. The weight of the darkness is stifling. Unless I keep my back to the ground as I move, I might fall into the endless darkness. I lay flat on my back as I slowly descend. It's dark, and I can't tell how far down this path goes. It's my breathing echoes in my ears. Shiro, then... Tosika, the one leading the way, suddenly speaks up. 
宝石券なんで作ってくれたのあー because you asked for it? She sounds blunt. As, as if she's just asking to kill time while we're descending. Yeah, but we know you'll, you'll at least try to bring her back first. I nod in agreement. Well, Tosuka certainly has a point. よくない。よくないけど、遠坂がいないと桜は助けられない。桜を助けたいんなら、一人より二人の方が確実だろ。それに、剣を投影するのは約束だった。俺は遠坂との約束を果たせなかった。だから、もう一つの約束だけは、き
It's too dark to make out the ceiling, but it must be about 10 meters up. I don't detect any signs of life. An unforgettable underground space that looks like the moonscape that I read about a long time ago. And there... Waits Saber, filled with absolute hostility. She's the only one here. I don't see Sakura, Zoken, or Assassin. The only one blocking the way here is a girl who has turned black. Saber. There's no reply. Of course, Saber's duty is to eliminate any intruders. She's the gatekeeper and the executioner. Saber is the strongest servant Sakura has, so she can fight us by herself. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you, you think? Tusker lowers her stance and reaches for the gem sword she's hiding behind her back. She must intend to fight her head on. I don't know what kind of ability the sword has, but she's going to fight Saber. Yeah. But that's not a good idea. We still have a countermeasure since we know Saber's powers. We can't use our only se uh, secret weapon when Zoken and Assassin are still waiting for us. Tosa, come Saber wa. Speaking in the same quiet tones as before, Saber stops so uh, Tosaka in her tracks. We comprehend what she means right away. Yep, but Sakura wants you to herself. はい。相手が何者であれ、ここを通る者は消去する。それがサクラの命令です。ですが、私は例外。サクラの方から会いたがってるってわけ。うん。セイバーナーズ。そう。she mutters. After taking a deep breath, Tosaka walks over to Saber. Tosaka. Yeah, it's fair enough. Tosaka walks on without hesitation and passes by Saber. And right before she disappears. Thanks for the belief, I guess. Huh? Wait. I can't understand if you complain to me without telling me what I should be doing. That's Right, right, okay. <laughs> Tosuke disappears, her hair fluttering behind her. Thanks, Tosuke. That gave me strength. In short, she told me to come help her while she keeps Sakura at bay. I'd, I'd really rather not, but, you know, seeing as how I know this, this is uh, a bad end. Her hostility expands. Tosica left, leave me alone. So she doesn't have to hold back anymore, huh? Yeah. Saber's right. Retreat isn't an option. I have to keep going forward, even if she's in my way. Saber <laughs> 
いつも迷惑かけてたんだ俺がバカなんだってことまだ覚えてたわけだ。It would seem that way, yeah. I move my dry tongue. I don't feel alive at all. I couldn't even hit Saber once when we sparred in the dojo. And she, even, and she wasn't even using a tenth of her powers. There's no way I can beat her. My neck will be cut the instant I cross blades with her. Maybe. Probably. So I have to find an opening. If there's no opening, I'll make one. I have to get her attention. Even if it means talking with her or appealing to compassion. The start of the battle isn't when the blades first meet. I have to use everything I can to find a way to beat her. I mean, to be fair with the state he's in, he's dying already, so. Orders. あなたが前に踏み出すまでは猶予を与えますですがそれも時期終わるあなたは桜のもとに行くしかない私が動くまでもなくあなたの方が耐えられずに仕掛けてくるいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい
その体ではあと数分も持たないでしょう。Hey, but she said a few minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, she realized she's at least decently strong. She offers my dying body a quiet invitation. I take a step forward. My first move, predicting Saber's counterattack, how to avoid it. I throw everything away and kick the ground. I swing the yin sword, Bakia. In a heartbeat, I close the 10 meters between us, concentrate everything I have in my left arm, and swing down with all my might. My attacks parried. Ignoring it, I swing the Yang Sword Concho. But it does no good. Saber wards off my attacks harmlessly, and her sword lunges to pierce my throat. Yeah, surprising, ain't it? Which one of us is surprised? I don't care. What kind of miracle is it that's, ex that, that, that's executing the attacks M. Yashiro cannot execute <laughs> and blocking the attacks M. Yashiro cannot block? Ah, uh, power of a uh, servant's arm, I guess. I don't care. What's the flashing light? The force that renews itself every second. I really don't care about it. an overdrive that leads to death, as well as a calm sleep. My body moves like a superhuman. My blades move like lightning. My mind reads ten, uh, ten steps ahead, ensuring five more seconds of, survi <laughs> of survival for each attack I parry. I can only manage to, uh, to defend. The only attack allowed for me was the first. The rest of the time is spent fending off her attacks. I've already blocked 30 attacks that could have killed me. Time stops. My body can't keep up with my mind. My limbs can't keep up with the extracted experience. This is why I chose Kancho and Bakuya. I didn't only project the weapon. I reproduced Archer's battle experience along with the swords. It's not perfect, but my abilities are not close to his. No graphics for it though. Well, sort of, but that's why I can manage. My vision wavers with, with each blow I deflect but I can bear it. My mind and flesh are scraping off, and my existence is fading. My body screams with each of her attacks, and I'm beginning to see my death, a mere 30 steps ahead. There's no fear. All I have is... <laughs> oh, you have the... Is he, is he laughing? Shiro, you are a crazy motherfucker at this point. The joy of being able to keep up with her. I can fight. I'm fighting her. I don't care if this is borrowed knowledge and borrowed techniques. I'm exchanging blows with Saber. There might be a chance of victory. I don't know about that. Saber won't use her holy sword. Maybe because it'll break the ceiling if she uses it. Or maybe it's some other reason. Either way, Saber's fighting me using only her sword technique. If that's the case, I can still manage. There should be an opening since Saber isn't using her holy sword. He is really psyched to be able to fight her. I move faster. I shift into high gear and step on the gas. The shroud in my arm is irritating. 
I hate myself for not for only being able to project one more time. Extract it. Deeper, wider, closer to the, uh, closer to the limit. I can keep fighting Saber if I can extract it. What happened? My body jumps back. Saber's attack pushed me away, so I jumped back to regroup. Oh, I try to catch my breath. Every muscle in me is on fire. It feels like the heat inside me is coming out of my pores. With Kansho and Bakuya in hand, I stare at Saber. I jumped 10 meters back. Even Saber will need to take two steps to close this distance. With this buffer between us, I can relax. For how long though? I get my breath back in no time. I look down at my body for a second. Yeah. <clears throat> That's not good. I don't care. So long as they don't kill me, I don't mind these swords. It's a problem that my movement that my movement precision is going down, but I fortunately don't feel any pain. Yeah, because you probably blew out your nerve centers. <laughs> I can block five more attacks from Saber. I can't tell what will happen after that. So I have to find an opening within, within the next five attacks and strike with everything I've got. Well, you know, we're still gonna try. But Saber quickly should stand that idea. Yeah, because she's probably not going a hundred percent. その体だからこそ無謀な策を強行する。いかに血が出ず、いかに中身が剣になろうと、あなたの肉体は限界だ。このまま打ち合えば、次はその体ごと粉砕する。Uh, you're probably right. I know. I already know that. But I have no other option. I can only project one more time. So I have to defeat Saber with the swords I have right now. やってみなくちゃわからない。次はもっと強く打ち込む。あと5回のうち。一度でもお前を上回ればそれで。白。余力を残してどうするのです。Oh, she knows. She knows. Oh boy. Her words contain a deeper meaning. It contains so much feeling that it clears up my broken and crazy mind. What good is keeping energy in reserve? Yeah, in this uh, particular situation, probably not worth. <laughs> That's right. I'll die if I can't beat Saber. But I still have one more trump card. I'm saving the last projection to save Sakura. But... That'll be meaningless if I can't make it to where Sakura is. It means giving up my only shot at saving Sakura in order to beat Saber. I can't do that. It won't do any good to die here. But there's no point if I can't use projection once I get to Sakura. Shiro,あなたを下した後、私はサクラの元に戻る。わかりますか？リンは私とサクラを相手にしなければならなくなる。So it's interesting. So it's like Saber knows that, like she. It's clear she doesn't really like what she's doing, but she can't 
deny it either, I guess. Like, she's giving him advice here. To give Rin a chance. So... That's impossible. Tosika won't be able to fight the two of them at the same time. But conversely, if Sakura is alone, Tosika will. So you got this. But I stay in a kid ever. Kanojo, a Kanada Sakura was cool. There is a meaning. Saber has to stay here because I didn't run away. Sakura is facing Tosika without, with, uh, without her greatest protection. But that's only for a moment. What bothers? Wait, never mind. 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 That's only for a moment. Sakura can call her servant back at any time. Sakura would call for Saber if Tosika corners her. <clears throat> Once that happens, Tosika will lose. Then what I need to do is keep Saber from going to her master. Saber? What? Shiro, you are the only person I am in that level. My heart stops. No. My heart already stopped a few seconds ago. My body is breaking down already. My fate has been determined ever since I took the shroud off the uh, shroud off in the Einsburn Forest. The body without sensation and the mind without a self aren't afraid of death. I don't even know what fear is anymore. But I've clung to life to save Sakura. If my wish can be granted, it doesn't matter how it happens. <laughs> Yeah. I'm determined now. Tosuka will have to face Zoken, Sakura, and Saber if I don't take Saber down here. There is a meaning if I can decrease her opponents. Even if I can't save Sakura, Tosuka will do it if I give her the chance. Torres. Oh. Oh, what's he gonna project? I close my eyes and use projection for the third time. But these twin swords are the only weapons I'm going to read. I still haven't comprehended their full capa uh, capabilities. I'm going to pull out Archer's tactics and Kancho and Bakuya's true nature. <laughs> the instant I connect myself to Archer's arm, the remaining 40% of my mind is reduced to, uh, is reduced to 20. I forget names. I forget the names of a lot of things. My name included. Go further. Find it, find it, find it. It has to be there. The method I couldn't come up with. The stance that will guarantee a kill should exist. Oh. He favored these swords. Then there's no way he hasn't come up with an ultimate attack to get him through these countless battles. Ten percent left. Leaving myself behind, I draw from the will of experience. Two curves. Yin and Yang are attracted to one another. Consecutive projection. Keep the basic technique. Meaning. Divine skill. Flawless and firm. Strength moves mountains. Blade cuts water. Life approaches the Imperial Villa. Two great men shared life. Oh boy. I reach it. I reach Archer's fatal attack. The true meaning behind Kansho and Bakuya. What I'm, what I'm about to do is my limit. My last three attacks. My enemy readies herself, able to feel my determination. Oh, 
was saved. Oh, Shiro, don't remember that now. Who is that? All the names are blown from my mind, but this enemy is called. I don't have time to be thinking. I have to move while I still can. Shingi. Yeah? I have to surpass my enemy in this exchange of blows. Bro, what is this banging theme? I throw them. I charge them with as much magical energy as I can muster, and I throw them from both sides. Targeting the enemy's neck. The two blades draw an arc so they intersect right on the enemy. The blades draw a beautiful cross. No hero can come out unscathed after being trapped between steel penetrating noble phantasms. But. The enemy blocks them like nothing. She easily redirects Kancho and Bakuya that attacked from both sides at the same time. She escaped the attack. The twin swords are supposed, to, uh, are supposed to come back to me even if they're deflected, but she redirected them behind her. I'm unarmed now. The enemy closes in on her, un on her unarmed <laughs> opponent. I charge. Tokus. Kaiju. What? Onaji Buki. The twin swords block her attack. The projection was all completed. Using the image I've prepared, I create Kanshu and Bakuya anew. You sure about that? Because even, even, even now I'm starting to believe a little bit. She unleashes her fatal attack. But right before that, yeah? <laughs> a surprise attack comes from un comes from an unexpected direction. The other two blades coming back from behind. <sighs> she uses she uses her cognition like instincts and avoids the concha that flew at it, that flew at it from behind. Taking advantage of the perfect opening, I strike using Bakuya. And she blocks it with her sword. She's a monster. Bro, why is this theme song so fucking banging, dude? I swear we've only heard this in this fight. I cannot remember a time in Face Day Night where we heard this other than other than now. Holy. She blocks both the surprise attack from the back and my attack containing full force. And she destroys Bakuya that I attacked with. But what about the one that was thrown? Because Kon uh, Kancho came back. But what about the other one? If she isn't a monster, what is? But. If I weren't fighting a monster, I wouldn't need this arrangement. Bakuya attacks her from behind again. I don't even need to say that it's the one that was thrown and deflected. Kansho and Bakuya are twin blades. They attract each other like magnets. So Bakuya automatically returns to me as long as I have Kansho. <laughs> the enemy avoids a surprise attack with godlike reflexes. And I smash Kansho into her unguarded chest. She even blocks my final attack. Time freezes. We take an instant to assess each other's condition. My attack has ended. Two pairs of Kancho and Bakia. She blocked the simultaneous attack from four blades. With all my weapons destroyed, I can't do anything anymore. 
the enemies at her limit too. She destroyed my weapon at the cost of leaving herself open. So there's, so, th uh, so there's nothing more. This battle has ended with a stalemate. We're both defenseless, and in a second, we'll be back where we started. But... I still have more. But I thought that, that was the last one. The enemy's expression freezes. My last 10% disappears. Life approaches the Imperial Villa. Ah. Oh. I pass my limit. I create another pair of swords in my empty hands. Save What the? Two great men shared life. I slash her defenseless body from both sides. Did, did, did he actually do it? I remembered it. I say her name in my final moments. But it's a shame. I can't tell if that's something to regret or be proud of. Anyway, I've defeated my enemy. That attack was perfect. Then I should rest now. My heart's still beating. I should be able to, st to stand back up after I wake. So for now, I'll sleep a bit. What? The twin swords are swung from both sides. She saw them coming, but it could but couldn't do anything to, def uh, to defend herself. Her body cannot catch up to her thought. Having blocked two surprise attacks from the enemy, her limbs are occupied for just the briefest of moments. She falls on her back. This attack's fatal. Kanjo and Bakuya pe uh, penetrated her armor, slashed her torso, and the impact reached all the way to her spine. <laughs> she groans in pain. Please don't tell me she comes back to herself right before she fades away. Like, completely comes back. That would be so fucking sad. An impact with the force of an explosion. She has fatal wounds, but she's still alive because she's a servant. <laughs> and to add, she has natural healing powers. She has strong regenerative abilities, coupled with an almost infinite source of magical energy. One has to crush her head or heart if one if one wants to kill her. She'll heal within 10 minutes if she's, le uh, if she's left alone. But, conversely, she cannot do anything for 10 minutes and has to accept any finishing blows. But Shiro's knocked out. Oh, uh, that, that doesn't sound like Darksaber. She calls out to the boy lying on the ground. His wound is fatal too, but he should be able to move. It should be easy for him to stand up and stab her heart. Yeah, he was. She talks to herself between ragged breaths. The match is, deci is decided. Accepting her impending death, she calls out. I didn't mean to squint! 
There's no reply. He's gone. She turns her head. She looks at the boy lying right next to her. There's no one there. Did he fade away? Like, because he's attached to Archer, did he fade away with the arm? Maybe? Oh. Oh no, because. Okay, ne never mind. As in, his mind is gone. I see. The boy's heart's beating, and he's still breathing. His eyes are open, staring up at the ceiling. But that's all there is. His mind was destroyed the instant he used projection for the third time. The one whose limits held her back. And the one who went past his limits. The result is the one lying beside her. Guess technically, yeah. Dude, did we ever see Archer do that with Concho and Bakia? I don't think so, right? I don't think Archer ever got the chance to do that. Maybe in his fight against Berserker in the in the Einsburn Mansion in Fate Route, but obviously we didn't get, we didn't we didn't get to see that, so. Huh. There's no emotion in her voice. She's used to it. She's seen many enemies risk their lives and die meaning meaningless meaninglessly. That's what it means to be strong. A hero is someone who cuts down his foes using everything he has. I hope so. She looks up at the dark heavens. There are no tears to be shed. The heroic spirit of the sword quietly waits for the battle's end. A tremor rumbles in the distance. She doesn't care which way the scales have tipped. Her heart contains only the slightest trace of pity. Tosaka Rin and Mato Sakura. No matter which one survived, the one who would bless them is no longer in this world. Fuck, man. And. Yeah, I think someone mentioned it. That this is the only one that doesn't say bad or dead. And just says end because he's technically not dead. He's alive. His mind is just destroyed. And it's not necessarily bad because it's, I guess you can assume that Ren does end up saving Sakura. But still. That's still not a good end, I would say. I mean, in this instance, you know, Shira went all out. He could have done a better job, you know, obviously done a better job uh, talking with Ryder, but, you know. この結末もある意味大王女だからね。言うなればヘブンズフィールにおけるセイバーちゃんエンドっていうか。ああ、まあ確かに大地でセイバーから一本取ってるし、シロにとっては本望なのかな。I guess。うん。が、それでも稽古
いつも通り行うのだ、oh, man. まずこのエンドを迎えた原因は何かなデシ1号カンタンスセイバーと1対1になってしまったことだと思いますオス、yep. no、rider to back him up. その通り最終決戦に向かう時は切り札を用意してから行けと毎回毎回言っているのになぜベストを尽くさないのかじゃあ師匠今回の切り札って何なんすかトモヨトモヨなんか美味しそうな響きです<笑>師匠。ジーズスゲーム、you can't just, you can't just, you can't just. <笑> okay, yeah. ハッパラボケはいい。必要なものはズバリフワートナー。この状況において一人だけ仲間になってくれそうなサーバントがいるはずであるいやいやいやいやなんとか彼女を説得して最終決戦に臨むべしはーいわかりましたけど師匠あいつすぐに出ちゃうんですけど以前の彼女との問答を思い出しなさい答えは一つ彼女が望む答えを口にすればその場で仲間になってくれるわ今回の道場はこれでおしまい長かった戦いも大大年まであと少し Fate Stay Night そのグランドフィナーレを君の目で確かめてね Yeah バイバイまたいつかどこかのタイガー道場で会いましょう Wow 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 That Man, that was a fantastic scene, kind of exploring like Ryder or not Ryder, sorry, Saber doesn't exactly want to be doing what she's doing, which I think was,、um, I think kind of obvious, but like, I guess, I guess that she was indifferent more than anything. Which was, uh, I don't know, seeing kind of how, how she felt was very, very interesting.、Uh, second, again, I, I don't know if we ever saw Archer at full power with Kancho and Byakuya, have we? I don't, I don't think we have. Like, do, him doing what Shiro did. At, at the very least, I can't recall that ever happening. Um. But if I'm wrong, then you know, no.、Uh, and then, so, dude, this is like my third time mentioning it, but that battle music, man, I don't, I don't remember that being in any other scene. Again, I could be wrong there, but that, that fight music was so good. It. I'm almost, almost I'm kind of sad that, was, that I don't recall it being in anything,、uh, any other fights. But yeah, I. Like I said earlier, I was, I was kind of spoiled for the fact that、uh, Sparks l i n e r High was a battle between Shiro and Saber because someone on YouTube was like, hey, yeah, this, this is a thing. Which, like, I, like other people had mentioned Sparks l i n e r High, and they mentioned that Shiro was badass in it, but they never, like. Like, I always, I, the entire time I assumed that it would be him fighting Ryder in, in that、uh, shed scene. Because I was aware of the fact that it's that choice where if you don't convince her, at least the bad end, or at least the spark, the sparks on her high. So I assumed the fight would be between him and Ryder. But you know, I, was, I was a bit sad that I was spoiled for the fact that it would be between him and Saber. I didn't know the outcome, of course. I, like, up until, like, Shiro actually started going through and using that final projection, I was like, yeah, no, no, there's no way. There's just no way he, he wins, but. Well, I mean, I guess in a way he didn't win. <laughs> Because Saber was still alive. But. Yeah. 
it, 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 it was I'm probably the best bad end like I, I feel like the one where you um, sort of end up uh, Ren's servant sort of but like pledging yourself to her is also a really good one for a different reason just because Shiro ends up like hardening himself but then it just ends there so you don't really see anything come out of it but yeah uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there um, again I'm gonna I'm gonna get more of the bad ends eventually I also unlocked another um hand like scene here so I could check that out I don't remember which is which I assume yeah okay this yeah, is titled number two so I, I assume it's that one so yeah, I'll check that out really quick and then and uh go home I burn stage what what Wait, what? <laughs> Violent Magus, no mercy, red and black. Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, okay then. Um. R right. <laughs> also, it's interesting that Unlimited Blade Works has the least number of bad ends. Like, it makes sense that Heaven's Feel has the most, right? But Fate, Fate Root apparently has 14, but I don't know how to get the 14th one, really. But then UEW only has 9. Which is interesting, because Fate Root... Actually, no, I guess it's not that weird. Because... I assume... Because, like, two of the... Because one of the... Or the, the very first one, right? You can get the very first one... In all the routes, I think. Just by uh, rejecting... Or, yeah, by rejecting to fight in the war. So, I'm so I'm assuming you use that in all three routes. Um, but yeah, even even then though, UW still has the least. Which again is odd, because Fate is short is the uh not the shortest, but it only has one Actually that might be the reason why Fate Root Well no, that wouldn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know, it's odd. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna do, again, do, uh, finish out all those Heaven's Feel bad ends. Uh, next time I do a Tiger Dojo session. And then after that, on to Unlimited Blade Works. Which, again, I, I, you know, I know the story of Unlimited Blade Works, so it's not gonna be very interesting to watch me play it. Um, but, you know, at the very least, the, the bad ends for UBW, as well as the alternate ending. Because I, I know there's an OVA for Unlimited Blade Works where you can see the alternate ending, but I never watched it. So, you know, that will be, that, that, that will be fresh. But, again, the main, the main story and the true ending for UW, and I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I will, I should say I do know, but, yeah. I'm still debating whether or not I'll upload it, I'll, pro I'll probably upload it to YouTube, but probably just as, like, holes like session chunks instead of bothering to chop it all up <laughs> um but yeah uh thank you for watching uh that was that was a that was a very uh fun experience uh finally getting to see uh sparks on a high um but yeah i'll catch you guys later peace